So you've heard me talk a lot recently about waiving inspection contingencies or limiting inspection contingencies. So what exactly should you be looking for in a home inspection? So I thought today would be a good day to get back to basics and tell you what we really should be looking for in a home inspection and what you should be limiting those inspections to. So let's get started. In this seller's market, we have been doing anything to get a house. So we're not only offering above asking price, waiving appraisal, we're also limiting inspection contingencies or waiving them all together. I don't always recommend that. I'll get into that a little bit later, but I thought this would be a good time to actually let's talk about what should we be looking for in a home inspection. So let's get into that today. By the way, I'm Jackie Baker, a realtor with Caldwell Banker Realty in Bergen County, New Jersey. And this is the wonderful area that I cover is Northern New Jersey. And I so appreciate you being here and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, yet feel free to do so the subscribe buttons right down below thanks so lately when I'm working with buyers what I have been putting in the contract is the buyer will limit the home inspections to look for structural or environmental issues only that is it so what exactly are we talking about here what are we looking for how does that work so let me just take a step back a little bit so before all this insanity started last year people would just go in and do a normal home inspection. But what was happening is people were nitpicking at little things that they wanted fixed. And sellers do not like that. They find that kind of annoying. They kind of feel like you're trying to get money off the price of the house, which people have done that. I have a couple of horror stories with some buyers that try to take advantage of a home inspection and trying to get money knocked off the price. And that's not gonna fly in this market. And sellers are keen to that right now. They don't wanna waste time. They don't wanna deal with any like little little minor issues where an outlet has to be replaced or they want a light fix i've said this before i actually had a buyer one time no joke and this is before this whole seller's market but i had a buyer one time ask for the the bathtub to be recorked mm -hmm. and he also demanded that the glue from the stickers on the window so you know when you get a new window and they have the, the stickers on them i guess the seller peeled the sticker up but the glue remained behind he insisted insisted that that glue be removed. I'm not kidding you. So these are little things we don't want to play around with in the seller's market. And besides any attorney is going to go back and say, that's a cosmetic issue. Like, you know, a seller's not going to address that. So when we're focusing on structural and environmental issues, this is what we're looking for. Let's start with environmental. Okay. With environmental, you are going to, first of all, do a radon test. I did a video about that. It's up here, all about radon. Check and see if the home has radon in it. If it does, that seller needs to put in a mitigation system to get the radon out of the house. Another thing we're gonna be looking for, obviously, is mold. Yeah, just had that one recently. I'm actually in a couple of houses. There's two minor, just minor mold, but still, that's a big problem. So we're looking for that. We're also doing an oil tank sweep. So we wanna see if there's an underground oil tank. If there is one, that's a problem. Even if there's a decommissioned one, that oil tank has to come out. So I always tell my buyers, even if the seller is insisting there was never an oil tank here, do it anyway, because you cannot rely on everything like it's gold from the seller, that what they're telling you is the truth. Because they may not even know. The seller could have bought that property and never done a tank sweep. So they may not even know if they're, they know for sure, even though they say, no, there's no oil tank. Don't rely on that. And then of course, we're gonna be looking to see if there's any infestation of any critters or any insects. And we wanna make sure there's like nothing like carpenter bees like hanging out in the house. And of course, termites, we wanna make sure there's no termites. If the house has a septic system and a well, definitely get that checked out. Lawyer's gonna make you do that anyway. And if that septic system happens to fail, the seller is going to have to address that. For structural, we're gonna be looking at the roof. We're gonna be looking at the foundation to make sure there are no cracks in the foundation. We wanna make sure that foundation is solid. We're also looking for any bowing in the walls. Home inspector will be looking for all these things anyway. This is normally done a home inspection. If you want to actually get a structural engineer and spend the money to be on the safe side, you can always do that. This is telling the seller when you're saying, I'm only looking for these major items in the house, these major, there's any major issues such as structural, environmental, it's telling the seller that 
you're not going to nitpick. You're not going to come back and say, I need you to fix this window or I need you to, you know, fix the shower head. I need you to do that. You're not going to play that game. Not in this market. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the reality. So let's talk about waiving the home inspection and, and people are doing this. That's fine, but you know, you can do the inspection for your knowledge only. So you, you're aware of what's involved with this, what's in good condition, what's not. And it's a risk. It's a risk you're taking. So you could walk in there and be like, we got to replace the AC unit. There is a problem. There is radon. There's the, all this. Look, you're taking a risk that you're going to be in, assuming those costs back onto yourself. And if you want the house bad enough, just be prepared. You, if there are some medium to large repairs that need to get done you know that's gonna fall on you just be aware of that I don't always recommend waiving the inspections unless the house was recently redone if it's renovated everything is on the newer end as far as the AC furnace water heater electrical has been upgraded if those if those things are on the newer end and the house looks pretty solid that's the only time I would have I would I would let somebody uh, waive the inspections I, I really wouldn't do that if you going to do anything just limit it you want to look for the major issues such as structural and environmental so normally that's what it's supposed to be for anyway the truth is even before the seller's market the lawyers used to go back and forth the seller's attorneys would always be like we're only addressing matters of structural and and health and safety environmental you know things would get out of hand and these buyers would demand all these little things but not today don't even think about it don't even think about it if you feel that the house is a little bit above your price point and you figure, oh, I'm just going to go get money knocked off at the home inspection. Walk away. You're not going to get it. I'm sorry to say. So now that you've learned about what you should be looking for in your home inspection, check out this video over here. I think you'll really like it and you'll learn some more about buying a home. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Jackie Baker with Caldwell Banker Realty and I will see you next time.